uh, dual system uh, but here in external authentication uh, we have two new uh, tabs the dual authentication where we need to specify the API address and the integration key and the secret key and all of those information are stored for as uh, stored in a uh, duo uh, panel so So it's gonna authenticating me using the SMS password. So now I'm going to rewrite the password from the SMS token. And here we are. So then uh, we need to uh, look for the applications and here we've got something which is called alt api so we've got the host name the integration key and the secret so those information must be stored uh, here in the dual authentication configuration so this is the first thing that we need to provide uh, then the next step is to set the end user authentication uh, here uh, for some specific user let's use the i think i've got the user yes, dual full of dual yes <clears throat> So here we've got new types. The one that we need here is duo. The first factor can be verified uh, as a static password or could be uh, verified using the external authentication source like Active Directory domain controller. Uh, so in, in this example, I will use the static password provided, provided here. And the duo username and duo user ID are the users who are specified here uh, so of course we need to provide the username i'm using the same one I need to have the application which is called Fudo, uh, Duo Security um, Duo Mobile. Uh, I'm adding the new account. I just activate the Duo Mobile. So I have received the email with the with the link. And now my device should be registered. Yes, and the profile has been added automatically. So my Fudo Duo username is associated with, with that number. Uh, so when I would use Fudo Duo username here and the ID which I have taken from from this link. So Duo and static password. And now my Duo mobile application has just uh, sent me notification to approve or deny the session. So now I'm clicking the approve button and we can see the uh, portal interior uh, so if I would do the same and deny the access of course we won't be able to uh, 
to connect. So now another one and I'm denying the excess. We don't want to push it and then we've got that incorrect username or our password. So that's the basic configuration for uh, dual mobile uh, authentication with uh, Fudo.